Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here talking to you about Easy Cling. Now before I talk about Easy Cling, if you're not familiar with the ClingNet protocol, make sure you watch this video which is going to tell you everything you need to know. Now, Easy Cling is a great little box from Malaysian that basically allows you to do three different things. It allows you to convert ClingNet into DMX, ArtNet into DMX, and Pixel Tape uh, output because you'll see that it has a Pixel Tape connection. Now. Pixel tape will work with either ClingNet or ArtNet, but I'm not talk to you. I'm not here to talk to you about either ArtNet or Pixel tape. I want to talk to you about ClingNet only. So let's say, for example, I have two of my ADJ dots matrix fixtures. Now I love these fixtures; they are pixel mappable, but they're not ClingNet compatible because they don't have one of the RJ45, Cat5, Cat6 connections in there. So this box is going to allow me to convert that. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to convert my Easy Cling and just basically connect it into my current ClingNet network. So I can do it between two panels, like my Flash Cling 64s or the Battens, whatever the case may be. But out of the Easy Cling box is a DMX. So I'm going to convert that DMX out into the first dots matrix and then the matrix into the second one. Pretty simple. I'm going to go into my Easy Cling and select a height and width of 4x8. Why? Because we've got two panels. So together, the panels make 4 high, 8 across. I'm going to dress them properly. So I'm going to make sure the first one is on channel 1, and the second one will be on channel 51. And I'm going to have it on pixel mode of 48 channels each. Make sure you check your pixel flip mode as well, otherwise they may not look right. The instruction manual can tell you a little bit about that. When I load that into LED Master, it's just going to show one big panel of 4x8. But what happens if I have the dots matrix on opposite sides? Well, I just go into the divisor and I select to do I want to divide it by 2, so it's going to divide it into two panels and I can move the panels and treat them just like any clean net fixture. Man, that was simple. But what happens if I also have the dots 3x3? Three three? Okay, well, you really can't add that on that same box because the height and width don't match. You know, I can't tell that it's 4 pixels high because one of the boxes is only, or one of the lights is only 3 pixels high. And I can't say that it's 11 pixels across because you can't divide that by 3. Now you may ask right away, well, since ClingNet only looks at pixels and that's it, and we're going in the right order, couldn't I just name my first light under, address my first light under 1? address the second one 51 and address the third one 99 and just select 25 for the divisor and move the pixels so they all match and I can have everything under one box? No, you don't want to do that. First of all, the divisors don't go as high as 25 and in reality that's going to get really complicated when you're moving 25 pixels around and that's only for three lights. What's the easiest way to do this? Well, you get an additional easy cling box. They're very low price so adding a second one, trust me, not going to break the budget. And what you would do is you would have one easy cling for your two 4x4s. Four four. So I have one with a 4x8 matrix. And then another one doing a 3x3. Three three. Of course, I can add more 3x3s three or more of the 4x4s four four and add them together. As long as the height and width of the matrix are the same, you can put them within the easy cling. So that's easy cling in a nutshell. It converted my current cling net network into DMX so I can use my existing features, which makes it backwards compatible and gives more chances for my lights to work in a new network with new technology. It's pretty exciting. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave a video. Please subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.